What's going on guys? In this video, we're looking at the most recent trade in the NHL. It's a pretty big one. Maple Leafs acquiring Ryan O'Reilly and Nola Chari from the St. Louis Blues in exchange for Adam Gaudet, Mikhail Abramov, a first, second, and third round pick. Now, the trade's a bit complicated as it actually went through Minnesota. That way the salary worked out. So you can see St. Louis retained the initial 50% on O'Reilly's contract. Minnesota then retained an additional 50%. And in exchange for that, the Maple Leafs gave them a fourth round pick. And they also got back prospect Josh Piller, who plays in the WHL. He's actually pretty solid. He's an overage right now, but averages over a point per game the last couple seasons. So in game here, guys, we do the Minnesota trade separately, basically just the fourth for the prospect. And then we'll do the St. Louis Blues trade after, just to make it kind of easier on us. So um, as I mentioned, Josh Piller, a decent player right now in the WHL. So I'm honestly kind of surprised the Leafs even got him back for the fourth round picks. I feel like the fourth's about the value it would cost for the Minnesota to retain the salary. Right now, as you guys can see here in game, 20 years old, 64 overall, um, fourth round pick back in 2021. Now they give a fourth round pick in 2025 for him, so I feel like the Minnesota Wild probably like aren't too high on him, which is why they're willing to you know add him in here along with the retention. Looks like Minnesota Wild will say yes to this, and they do. So again, I think that's a you know win-win for both teams. At least get the side retention. Minnesota gets a free fourth round pick. As I actually saw Cap Friendly tweet out, the actual money they're paying on O'Reilly's contract is only like 75k. So they essentially get a fourth round pick there for that player who, like I said, they mustn't have been that high on. Also, too, guys, I saw this tweet from Cap Friendly. I thought it was kind of funny. This is the third year in a row the Leafs have acquired a captain at the deadline. So clearly Kyle Davis, you know, looking for that leadership is the third time the charm. We'll find out. And now next year, guys, we're trying the actual trade here, the St. Louis Blues. As you can see here, Ryan O'Reilly's actually on their block in game. Uh, 31 years old, ASN overall, making 3.75 millions have actually already gone ahead and cut his seven million dollar contract in half that way the money will work uh, you can see there he's got the quick draw x factor because he's amazing in the face-off circle 94 face-offs there i mean five star defense obviously such a good two-way player i think like the last four years he's been top five in the selkie votes uh the one year they won the stanley cup he also won the con Smythe trophy and the Selkie Trophy. And that was only four years ago, back in 2019. So like the Leafs are getting a very good player back here. Now this season hasn't been quite as good. He's averaging about, you know, point every other game. But when you look at the rest of his stats, like they're very, very solid. So honestly, I really like this trade for the Leafs. Now, um, even though he's already got his salary knocked off by half, we have to have them retain a further 50% here. Uh, so it'll actually work money-wise. And now with O'Reilly, Leafs also get back Nola Chari, who I think is like a decent, you know, bomb six player. Had some pretty big games before the Panthers before. I think he scored like a couple hat tricks for them. So I think it's just added depth there for the Leafs. Now, in exchange, I feel like the Leafs really aren't giving away anything of too much value. Like, you got the first round pick this year, the third round pick this year, which is the Sens pick. Um, you've also got the second round pick 2024. But... Like, the Leafs are trying to win now. These picks, these guys aren't going to ever make the NHL probably for, you know, three to five years if they actually do make it. At least got to get out of that first round. So, um, I feel like this is honestly a good trade for them. I feel like O'Reilly could potentially get them over that hump. For now, uh, they do give up Abramov here who's a solid prospect, 21-73. Low toxic potential there in game. Along with him too, they also give up Adam Gaudet, but um, Gaudet's kind of like a fringe NHLer. So, really nothing too, too crazy. Look at the value here. I mean, the St. Louis Blues want all of that. You can see their status there is seller. So um, I feel like they're going to say yes. The trade differently here is set to medium. Let's find out. And there you have it. Trade is accepted. And I'm not sure guys what the lease lines might look like after the trade. I thought the top six staying the same. Putting O'Reilly at 3C because like he's so good in the faceoff circle. Why would you put him on the wing? Now, they could move, say, Tavares or Matthews to the wing. I just don't know if I see that happening. Maybe Tavares, though. Put O'Reilly there at the 2C. I mean, that'd be a nasty top six with O'Reilly there. So, it'll be interesting to see, you know, what they decide. Um, defensively there, too. Like, they don't look too bad. Goaltending, Samson is playing pretty well for them. So, again, I think I know O'Reilly here. The Leafs are looking pretty good. Obviously, it's going to depend on that first round matchup. If they say get the Boston Bruins... I don't like that for them, but I'm going to give you guys your first look here at Ryan O'Reilly as a Toronto Maple Leaf. Um, also, too, I saw one on Twitter there, but um, I'll show you guys in-game here what he's looking like. Actually, it's glitched, so I have to restart the game to show you. So we're here, guys, at Ryan O'Reilly's member of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Honestly, the blue looks pretty good on him. I mean, he's played on a blue team, I think, his whole career. Avalanche, Sabres, St. Louis Blues, so uh, no difference here, really. O'Reilly, 90. Again, very excited to see, you know, how he plays for the Leafs, but next year we're going to try the trade from a St. Louis perspective and see if the Leafs say yes. Now, this is pretty interesting, guys. As you can see here, the Maple Leafs are interested in both Ryan O'Reilly and Nolachari, as well as they have the Senators third round pick, their second, and Abramov on the block. So, um, I feel like, I don't know, is this going to go through? Like, the value is about double on the Leafs side. Now, obviously, I'm retaining 50% of O'Reilly's salary, but I also had to do that for Achari just to make sure the trade goes through. So, I think this actually might be a yes for both teams because, again, they're getting the best players, so even though the value is way on their side, we'll see what they say. 
No, okay, so trade's rejected, which means in-game EA feels like St. Louis won this trade, as obviously the Leafs said no, St. Louis said yes, but in real life, I think it was a fair deal, like a rally on expiring deal, Blues trying to like retool here, they get back like a good amount of assets, and now three first round picks in this year's draft via the O'Reilly and the Tarasenko trade, so... Um, like I said, I think it's a win-win for both teams. And after that trade, as well as the Tarasenko trade, guys, here's an update look at the Blues lines. I mean, the first line, Bushnevich, Thomas, Kairou, isn't bad at all. Um, second line there is okay. It's really just the bomb six. They've lost a lot of depth, obviously, training, you know, two of their better players, two of their veterans in O'Reilly, Tarasenko. Um, defensively here, I mean, I feel like after they lost Petrangelo, that defense was never quite the same. Bennington's a really, you know, up-and-down goaltender. But again, I feel like they're a team where at least, like, their two best players... Thomas Kyrou, still quite young, early 20s. Uh, with the right picks here, with the right prospects coming along, they definitely don't need to do a full, like, tear it down rebuild. They could actually be a team that, you know, successfully retools. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes for them. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave that thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit the sub button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.